Hey guys, welcome back to Young Chaos Game Video today, July 7, 2022, and channel the Shop for today. So today it does look like we have a Gods of Thunder pack coming to the Iron Shop. This is of course um for the new uh, Love and Thunder movie coming out tomorrow at the time of making this video, so on July 8th. So it does look like we have a collaboration with all of that, and this is actually its second time with Thor coming to the um game because we of course have him uh how many seasons ago? That was almost like a whole chapter ago that we had Thor come out um in the chapter two season four battle pass so let's go right here and yeah so we have four right here you can see he came out chapter four i'm um, chapter two season four battle pass but for most of the battle pass on that season they didn't have the license to really use the actual like um in real life person's like face and everything so it might have been this time around that they did get the license but if just looking at it from here it doesn't really look like the actual like actor of thor and everything but let's just inspect the bundle so we have the gods of thunder pack 2500 v bucks doesn't look like you could buy it separate but it does look like it comes with a bunch of outfits uh, outfits items and everything in it all right, so let's inspect the items. It looks like there's a total of 10 items. We have Thor Odison with the mapping Thor's cape, a Marvel series skin. The skin has a total of four styles and a reactivity for it. So let's go over the styles. So we have the default style. We have the full charge style. Then we have the cape on and cape off style. And yeah, looking at it like closer, it doesn't really look like they had, yeah, the license to be able to use the actual actor's face, which is pretty disappointing because it already felt like we weren't going to get another Thor skin back in Chapter 2 Season 4 and they kind of already missed out on having the actor's like face and everything, the um, actual like model into the game. But then they also released it now in this season and they missed out once again. But of course, it, there's the whole like legal issue shoes and everything that goes along with the ips and all that so it's already awesome that we already just that we even have the skin in the game that's just really nice and then with four pretty nice styles i love the fully charged it goes throughout the entire skin and the skin has a built-in cape so you're able to use any cape uh any baplings but no capes on top of it and instead it'll just be pit with nothing if you do try to pit on the cape but if you have any baplings like this one that i have equipped it will um you can't see it there so that's pretty nice and then I believe he, yeah, I he has a uh, glider. It's Stormbreaker's Flight. It's a Marvel Series glider, and I believe you can only use this glider if you have the um, uh, Thor skin equipped. So right here at the bottom right, it says wield a Stormbreaker as a reformed mill. Oh my God, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his hammer. It's so crazy. As pickaxes or gliders, reformed um, includes the villain that brings the hammer down. Emote bundle includes loading screen. So we'll go over the loading screen in a second. But it's kind of weird how they do say bundle includes loading screen. Like you would be able to buy it separate, and if you buy the bundle, you get the loading screen on top of it. So pretty weird, but it's still a really nice bundle. All right, so now let's go over the second skin. So we have Mighty Thor with the mapping Mighty Thor's Cape, a Marcer skin. And this skin also has four or styles and a reactivity, which we'll go over in a second. And very similar to the Thor skin, she has a hammer as well, where you're also able to turn it into a glider, like right here. And this um, glider, you can see it and everything, which is pretty nice because it also gives the harvesting tool some lighting that you don't see in this harvesting tool. So you can see the harvesting tool right here. It's a Marvel Series harvesting tool. Looks really nice, but it is very similar, of course, to the Chapter 2 Season 4 harvesting tool, which we got in the Battle Pass that season, which we'll just go over right now. So you can see right here. Looks very similar, of course, because it's like, the same thing and everything but it does look a little bit different and you personally do like the newer one a little bit better i like the cracks and everything the details look just a bit better and then we also have stormbreaker it's a marvel series harvesting tool i believe this one's uh, connected to the thor skin more than the other one because it acts as his glider if you have it equipped so that would make sense that this one's being like the one paired up with him and then for her it is paired up with this harvesting tool because it acts as her glider and then for the skin, let's go over the styles and the reactivity, which we just went over. So we have the default style, then we have the full charge style, very similar to the other skin, and then cape on and cape off. And then we have uh, Gods of Thunder, it's a Marvel series loading screen. Pretty nice loading screen, really nice um, whole like uh, artwork and everything, looks pretty nice. And then we have uh, Bring the Hammer Down, it's a Marvel series villain emo. So I'm expecting that this built in emote goes both for, um, comes with both skins, um, no matter which one you use because, or actually maybe not because it acts as like, it, she uses her harvesting tool here 
than the other Thor Odinson's harvesting tool that he's paired up with more. So yeah, it might just be for her if you have the harvesting tool equipped, uh, that might be the case. Um, but yeah, that might be its reactivity as well. It's kind of all over the place because usually in these bundles, it will have the skin paired up with all the things that connect to the skin. But in this um, bundle, it kind of is just everywhere. So let's just go run down through everything because it kind of is confusing. So we have Thor Odinson and his Bapling. Those are just part of the like the same little um connection we have stormbreaker's flight for thor and then we have a reforge um uh, his hammer and everything this one isn't for him but this harvesting tool is right here so these four items the stormbreaker thor's cape thor odison and stormbreaker's flight are part of his little set and then we have mighty thor the um baffling mighty thor's cape we have the harvesting tool and then the um, glider. So these four items, this one, this one, the baffling, the harvesting tool and the glider. And then for the skin, we just went over those ones. But I believe you have to have the um, skin equipped in order to do the the um, whole glider animation and everything. If not, it would just be pit with a default glider. I believe that's how it works because that is how it worked back then in chapter two, season four. So that's just my guess, but I could be wrong. And then we have bring the hammer down, which I believe is is connected to um, Mighty Thor than uh, my uh, Thor Odison since she does use her harvesting tool that she's paired up with and unlike the other skin where he uses a different one but in the animation shown here it shows this other harvesting tool and for the bundle yeah that thing's just separate but there was just a little rundown of like what's connected because you have to have the skin equipped to do um, a glider and if you want a certain glider you have to do the skin so you have to kind of already know what goes together and which doesn't and we have Captain America returning so we just went over this one a couple of days ago but it's just a super small thing so let's go over it again it's captain america it's a marvel series house uh, marvel series outfit 2000 v bucks and he comes with a proto anatomy oh my god not gonna try but it's the, his like shield basically it acts as a baffling for this version and then we have a harvesting tool version of the baffling but this time yeah once again it acts as a harvesting tool so you can have the swing animations and everything but there is a little reactivity if you have both the harvesting tool and baffling equipped that's if which you do have that in case you do um once you pull out the harvesting tool to go like mine some rocks or whatever it co will come off the baffling so nice neat little animation and little reactivity to it we have grand salute it's a my series uh, it's a marvel series horizon tool with 300 v bucks we had the fish stick bundle returning so i don't know the actual pricing for this because it is only 800 v bucks for me since i do have the skin which is like the main thing but this bundle includes a total of eight items oh seven items actually we have a fish stick with the bapping stop water satchel a rare skin 1200 v bucks the skin has a total of three styles and one extra hidden style which in order to get it you will go over the um like um the like in order to do it you had to get oh my god oh i'm don't even know what i'm saying let's just go with the styles we have the default style the pirate style the vr style and then we have the world cup style so you had to buy the fish skin during the world cup of 2019 in order to get this style pretty nice little style probably my favorite one out of it, it has the tattoo of the world cup symbol of 2019 on it looks really nice the color scheme is pretty nice and then uh, yeah if you just buy like now you only get three styles so you had to buy i believe before the world cup or during the world cup in order to get it we have Coral Cruiser, a rare glider, 800 V Bucks. We have Bootstraps, an uncommon harvesting tool, 8, 500 V Bucks. We have Slippery, an uncommon wrapping, 300 V Bucks. Pretty nice little wrapping, it has that shine to it, which is pretty nice. We have Fish Face, an uncommon wrapping, 300 V Bucks. We have Fishy, an uncommon wrapping, 300 V Bucks. And you can buy everything else in the bundle separate. We have Raptor returning with the bapping of Raptor Stack Tool. A legendary skin 2000 v bucks with two different variants so we have the default style then we have this like kevin the cube runic style which is really nice we have velocity with the battling bomber bag a legendary skin 2000 v bucks sadly no extra styles for this skin but it's a pretty nice one we have assault bomber an epic glider 1200 v bucks this one's a pretty massive harvesting, um, pretty massive glider. So you're going to be very noticeable if you're trying to sneak up on enemies or just landing. It's going to be kind of hard to pinpoint where exactly you're going to land since this one is blocking a lot more of your um, view of your like screen than other gliders do. 
We have Party Animal, a Slurp Series Harvesting Tool, 1500 V-Bucks. Very expensive harvesting tool. That's because it was released in Chapter 1, Season 1, where Epic Harvesting Tools nowadays would be co uh, would cost like 1200 V-Bucks. But then back then, it would cost an extra 300 V-Bucks, making a total of 1500 V-Bucks. Which is just pretty insane to think about it. We have Asmus uh, Asmidius with the Bathing Ocular, a rare skin, 1200 V-Bucks. The skin comes with two styles. We have the default style, then with the bandana style. We have Kalistro with the Bapping Hex, a rare skin, 1200 V-Bucks. We have Foul Play, a rare harvesting tool, 800 V-Bucks. We have Batso, a, a rare glider, 800 V-Bucks. And then we have Voligo returning with the Bapping Used Racket, a rare skin, 1200 V-Bucks. We have Spartan Assassin, an uncommon alpha, 800 V-Bucks. Punch Stuff, an uncommon emote, 200 V-Bucks. We have the uh, the El Dorado of uh, Bapling, 200 V-Bucks, only 200 V-Bucks. Pretty nice little deal for this little harvesting tool. Pretty nice and a little, um, I like it. We have Jitterbug, a rare emote, 500 V-Bucks. And then we have a Dance Monkey and Night Country's emote, 500 V-Bucks. But that does look like it's going to be a taste, so really awesome to see one of the encrypted items in the files actually come to life. And yeah, so we didn't know anything about this um, bundle or like a collaboration in general until, yeah, it was today. So really nice little neat addition to the game. We actually did have one tease on Donald Mustard's Instagram account, I believe, where he tweeted like the same color scheme of the Thor Love and Thunder um, main um, like teaser image and everything. So that was kind of a hint, but it could have just been another thing with 4th of July which was like the day that he posted it and had some fireworks in the sky but the main theme of the color scheme was very similar to this um uh, of the Thor Love and Thunder um like main image and everything so yeah there was a little bit of hints but I love that we always don't get to see these collaborations that just come out of nowhere but yeah we have many more of those to come out in the near future since we have got had I believe um four encrypted sets in the files so those can easily be just more collaborations ready to set uh, ready to be released just like this one but that does look like it's gonna be for today so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe if you guys are new just like and hit that bell bye